What's up, Wolverines? I'm Matthew Barturin. And I'm Ben Romanach. And here's your news for today. This year we recognize 11 extraordinary Belen Jesuit seniors for their commitment to serve our community, as well as communities beyond Miami-Dade County. For over six decades, the Miami Herald has recognized students from Miami-Dade and Broward counties for their selfless service and academic achievements. Since November, our nominees have been working extensively on putting together a solid representation of their volunteer work and achievements which will be present to the judges on Judging Day, scheduled to take place in March. Living in Miami, the sport of sailing is becoming more prevalent than ever. I got the chance to speak with star sailor Nico Garcia Castrillon. Sailing, a mostly unknown sport that has a rich history. Our very own senior, Nico Garcia Castrillon, talks about his work ethic and experience with the U.S. national team. I got into sailing uh, when I was nine years old. My parents brought me to summer camp in Key Biscayne Yacht Club to start, uh, to start the sport, and that's how I got into the whole atmosphere of sailing. Well, to put it simply, I, the, re the way I got so good was just spending time out on the water, putting in the effort um, on land too, like working out. Um, and just training, 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 and that's how I did it. Every weekend, I, I spent about 14 hours, so uh, just seven hours on Saturday and Sunday. And then sometimes during the week, I'll either do a private lesson or just work out in the gym. Well, in the top level, there's all types of competition, so, so like in in let's say in an international regatta you got kids coming in from all over the world you got you have kids coming from from italy india egypt uh literally all over the world and here in the united states sometimes i even practice with uh olympic Olymp future olympic uh, contestants so it's very very competitive i i wouldn't consider going pro because um, I'd, I'd like to pursue more of a uh, medical career. Uh, it's just always been my dream, but um, I, I'll never forget sailing, and it'll always be in my heart. For WBLN, I'm Ben Romanach. Soccer 5 has the leading small side soccer cages in Miami. Nick Diaz tells us more. Hidden in the depths of Tropical Park, not many people know about the Soccer 5 USA cages. Perfect for next level training, birthdays, or just some fun pickup games, Soccer 5 USA is changing how people meet up to play the game of soccer. I frequently go to the soccer cages in Tropical Park with my friends from Doral. We all love playing soccer, but the environment there is like really good. We always meet people there too, and they always hop in. Like we play like pickup games, you know, like four on fours, first to like three goals, and then we swap teams and everything. It's really fun, and we have a good time there. So I come to play with my boys uh, three times a week. Uh, we always come to Tropical Park. We have a lot of fun playing. It's a great experience, you know, it brings us together. It's really good at cardio, really good workout, and honestly, it's just, we love the game. So next time you're looking for a place to have a good time with your friends, make sure to check out Soccer 5 USA in Tropical Park for an experience that will definitely have you coming back. For WBLN, I'm Nick Diaz. We've seen a nationwide average of more than 754,000 new cases of COVID-19 a day over the past week. Nearly 146,000 people were hospitalized with the virus as of Tuesday, and more than 1,600 people on average have died from it each day in the past week. Many hospitals are juggling staffing issues. States are doing everything from postponing elective surgeries to calling in the National Guard and declaring public health emergencies. And now, more children are being hospitalized with COVID-19 than ever before but the CDC says only about one in six kids aged 5 to 11 is fully vaccinated as schools continue to assess and debate in-person learning. It's back to the classroom in several of the nation's largest school districts. Others have to go to remote and massive teacher absences. All of this means all eyes are on the White House to turn the tide. This announcement is for all sisters. If you want to go to the water polo tryouts, meet here about 3 p.m.
What's up Wolverines? I'm Chris Bile and let's get right into the sports. Last night the soccer team won 8-0 versus South Miami High as they come off back-to-back -back wins. They look to keep the momentum against Westminster Christian this Friday at 6 p.m. The basketball team played Coral Gables High yesterday and won 64-53 with Adrian Delgado having 20 points and Santi Ariza with 15 points. Also they played Champagnat Thursday. On Saturday, your Miami Hurricanes upset the number two team in the country as they beat Duke 76-74 to and became the number one team in the ACC. But last night, their nine-game win streak came to an end after losing to Florida State with free throws in the final seconds of the game and they host the University of North Carolina this Tuesday. This past Monday, the top dogs went head-to-head -head in the National Ch Football Championship. Georgia snapped their 41-year title drought with a 33-18 dub going against the number one seed, Alabama. The Miami Heat dominated Saturday, winning 123-100 to against the Phoenix Suns, making 22 threes and shooting 50% from behind the arc, and Tyler Hero leading the team with 33 points. They play the, the Atlanta Hawks tonight at home. The Miami Dolphins announced on Monday that head coach Brian Flores had been fired. Coach Flores had a 24-25 and record as his three seasons of head coach. In a statement, he wanted to thank Miami for the opportunity as the head coach. That's all for your sports, now let's get back to the guys at the desk. Thanks, Chris. That's all our news for today. Remember to follow all of our social medias. And from all of us here, remember to stay safe and stay Golden Wolverines.